Hey there, Frugal Brewers. Today we are going to be bottling a golden stout, but we're going to be reusing old beer bottles. So first, in order to do that, we need to make sure that we clean these beer bottles. In order to clean these beer bottles, what we'll need is we'll need some sanitizer, and we'll need a sink that's filled with water. We'll need to add some sanitizer to that water um, by putting it in the cap. Once we put it in the cap, then we can dump it into the water, and then from then on, we can go ahead and start uh, cleaning out our beer bottles. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to take either a bomber or a 12 ounce bottle and in order to do that you just dunk them in there, fill them up, and once they're filled up give them a little bit of a shake and then what we have here is we have a bottle brush. Now with this bottle brush we're going to stick this in there and then we're going to scrub it out making sure that you get anything that's at the bottom because a lot of these bottles that we reuse are from our old um, brewing and we need to make sure that we get the yeast that's been caked on the bottom out of there. One of the ways that you can make sure that it's not in there is to make sure that you rinse the bottles right after drinking the beer. That way they are a lot cleaner. So it's a lot more difficult if you're getting beer bottles that haven't been rinsed out right after use because then the yeast is really caked on there but you can still, with the scrub brush, get the yeast out of there. What you do when you're done scrubbing the bottles is you'll hold it up to the light to see if there's anything at the bottom of the bottle. If it looks like it's clean, then you can go ahead and uh, use it by putting it on a drying rack so that you get the, um, the water and the, and the sanitizer out of there and then uh, make sure that that's not in there when you're bottling. But again, you, you're gonna wanna put it up to the light to see if there's anything on the bottom. If there is anything on the bottom, then you're gonna wanna dunk it and try to scrub it out again. And if you can't get whatever is in the bottom out, then at that point, you're going to want to go ahead and just chuck the bottle because it's not worth contaminating that beer. The next step when it comes to bottling your beer is getting your priming sugar ready. So what you'll wanna do is get about a cup of priming sugar, which is going to essentially be just corn sugar and you're going to add that to about, um, fill up half a pot of water and then add the sugar to that and then get it up to about 150 degrees so you can make sure that the sugar is uh, sterile. And you need to also put about half, fill this about halfway so that you're not burning the sugars on the bottom and making them unfermentable. And at that point, you wouldn't even be able to um, get the uh, beer to carb. So you can go ahead and add this and then go ahead and boil it or not boil it, get it up to about 150. Also go ahead and stir in the sugar so that it dissolves a bit. All right, so we're about ready to bottle. We've got our beer in the bottling bucket. You've got to go ahead and attach your um, your hose with the, uh, with the bottling wand, and then um, make sure that you have this set to the on. And then you're gonna get some beer filtering down. And now when you're ready to fill the beer bottles, um, if you don't have a a tree for uh, drying the things. Go ahead and make sure that you uh, flip it upside down. Make, make sure you get any access out. And then you can go ahead and make sure that you're using something so that you don't get water everywhere all over the floor or beer all over the floor. And then go ahead and fill up the bottle. When you're filling up the bottle, you want to make sure that you get it all the way up to the very, very top. And then because you're gonna when you take it out, you're going to allow a little bit of excess room for the carbonation to build, like so. And you'll have that much room on the top, and then you go ahead and get ready to bottle it. Or cap it off. Now when you're using 12 ounce bottles, you can go ahead and pretty much use any of these types of bottles. Um, if you're using any bottles that have a weaker neck, 
or have an abnormal neck, when you're bottling the tops, they could crack. So it's important to um, use ones uh, that pretty much have a more stout neck. Um, any of these kind of uh, bomber bottles work really well, or any of these types of um, bottles as well. When you're um, bottling, you always want to use the pry-off tops, because if you're using twist-off bottles, you're not going to be able to get those on because it doesn't have that lip there. It's going to have a, a screw, a little bit of a screw top. And if you try to bottle with that, it's not going to work and you're going to crack the tops of the bottles. All right, make sure that you sanitize your caps so that they are nice and sanitized before use. When bottling, you're gonna to wanna to use one of these Red Rocket bottle tops, although there are plenty of other ones that you can utilize. And the process goes pretty easily. Go ahead and make sure you wipe it afterwards so that there's no stickiness. And the perfect cap. You have that little indentation in there. When you have that little indentation on top, you know you've done it right.